Hi and welcome. Um, my name is 3D Modeler on YouTube and this is on how to print from a non-Mac computer. Um, recently I've been re pretty um, amazed about the new iPad or new it's a, I, I don't know, remember the release date but I've been amazed about um, the device and wanted to get one. Um, the main reason uh, why I didn't was because I couldn't print from the, from it. Um, so I have searched around online to find different solutions to the problem. I found this small application here, which is called uh, Account Email Manager, which would um, link up to a pop free email address, take the content that has been uh, mailed to the account, and take it and print the message or the and or add the attachment and um, this worked pretty well um, but with the release of the new I iOS uh, 4.2 the printer is built into um, into the um, OS so what that means is that you can print from a Mac computer now I use Windows and there are no official releases for a application that would do that However, I was online searching through um, Google and ran across the forum on Mac Rumors. And there was a guy here called Real Eric who posted a message on how to use a Windows 7 computer or Windows 7 64 uh, bit version to use the printer on the IO iOS 4.2. So I wanted to show you real quick how this was set up. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is go down to this link here, and I'll post a link to the forum on the show notes, and download Air Printer. Now I've downloaded Air Printer in advance, and this is the the files that you get: AirPrint.exe, LibAirPrint.dll, and XPDFPrint.dll. <coughs> Then you need to create a folder on your um, C drive in Windows on your C drive under Program Files x86 68 sorry x68 folder, and you'll need to create a folder called AirPrint, and you just copy those files in there. Now, when that's done, you'll have to go to the CMD and run it as an administrator. This is the, the console application for Windows. And to do that, you need to go down to Start menu here, type in CMD, and then when it comes up here as one of the first programs, you need to right-click, and you need to run it as, administ as administrator. You can't see the administrator, but I assume that you, you know where that is. So I'll just move these back. So the first thing that you'll notice here is that um, you need to select either the Windows 64-bit version or the Windows 32-bit and the, the difference between the two obviously so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the 64-bit uh, version, copy and then I'm going to paste that into the console and then I'm going to press enter and everything has been copied I realize I have an error, but that's because I already run the, the the thing on my computer. Now, when that's done, you need to run the exe file uh, that you posted in your C programs folder x64, and under Win App Print, you need to run this application, and it will ask for permission to be able to run, and it says right here, it's the same window as this one. When that's done, you're pretty much set. However, you need a password to be able to print to um, the user printer on the Air Print. The username is normally the username that you use with your Windows account, and in this case, it's uh, Kim Jacobson. This is my that's my name and my password. And uh, some people has uh, have problems with it because they don't have a password. There might be a solution out there, I don't know it because I use a password. Better safe than sorry. 
Um, so for you who use a password, it's really well. Uh, it, it will work pretty well. For those who don't, I suggest you should use a password. Um, it's only one time every day, and I mean, if, if or if you're like me, you have the computer on at night, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's um, that's the best help I can give, at least. Um, if someone has the solution for the the one the one or the people out there who doesn't have a username or password, please uh, add a um, reply to the this uh, video. And to all others, thank you for watching.